unlike most of us, you're actually closer to the front line in a way because your partner, your wife, she's a doctor, isn't she? She is, yeah. And um, very, very, particularly at the beginning, it was very unusual because she was taking time off and then she went back to work because she felt that she had to. And we had another doctor who was staying with us. So I then went to live with my parents so that our house could be COVID secure. And then we were apart for six weeks. And um, yeah, she was saving lives. And I was living with my mum and dad as a 40-year-old man. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, uh, let's have a round of applause for your wife and for everyone oh, who's doing that. Because that was Should amazing. To go in, I cannot imagine how that, that must have yeah. felt. And then... And then well, also, was... let's have whatever the opposite of applause is for the bloke who bailed out and let his mum and dad look after him. <laughs> 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 My wife is just incredible. This is... Not only does she look after people, she also looks after me and the dog. Yeah. This was proved the other day, right? She went away for a weekend and we got invaded by ants. This has never happened before, <laughs> right? It's this big colony of ants just let themselves... It's like they knew. They were like, his wife's gone. This, <laughs> this <laughs> drops marmalade. You're going to feed your boots, right? So the way I got rid of them in the end, I got a load of squirty cream, went like that, and the dog licked them up. <laughs> it's the cutest genocide you've ever seen. And my dog was like, we don't need her, you're a genius. An hour later, he's in the garden. <laughs> what were you thinking? <laughs> so what was it like being about your parents? Because we've spoken about your mum a lot yeah. on the show. Yeah. Uh, Nanette, who is, a, who is a great source of material for you, and obviously yes. you have a very close and loving relationship. Yeah. Uh, but how was it moving back in with her? I love my mum, but you just forget how unusual your parents are when you spend a long time with them. So my dad is... My dad's 65, he gets up every morning at five in the morning and he rides his bike for two hours, wow. listening to really intense Europop. <laughs> yeah, so it's just a weird way of starting the day. You remember that song? Do you is, he, the... is he having a breakdown? Yeah. <laughs> so he's literally down there, just cycling away, and you'll hear him. You hear a 65-year-old man sing. Remember that Colour Me Bad song? My dad's like, I want to sex you up. <laughs> and that is no way to wake up, because you hear this sort of, like, sweating, and you're like, what are they doing there? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but you're back doing the show. You're back doing the Russell Howard Hour on TV in yes. a proper studio again. Yeah, so yeah. That for Sky. yeah. We do it here every Tuesday. And, and how is that? How is it doing a topical show at the moment? Because I guess in a way, there's there's only kind of one big topic, isn't there? Really, and a couple of subsidiary ones. It's going to be COVID. It's going to be lockdowns. It's going to be tier one, two. Yeah, three. but it's something different every week. That's why I love, like even this week. So we're you know like huge swathes of the country are under lockdown, and all the pubs in tier three are shut. But you can still serve booze if you give someone a pasty, which is just only in this country. It feels like our Prime Minister is making it up as he goes on. Get pubs, pasty, um, gin, if you've got a pocket full of sausages, and you can visit your nan if she's got Monster Munch. It's, it's, so I find it so interesting to talk about. Like, and the, the story that really got... Did you hear this this week? So couples that are living apart, um, they are now only allowed to have sex outdoors. Yeah. <laughs> yes, this is generally true. Yeah. I mean, you've got to be careful, you can break a leg that way. Why are you looking at me? <laughs> well, that's genuine government advice. You, you, you're not, if you're in tier two couple, you're not allowed to have sex indoors. That's if you're not living together, isn't it? Yeah. If, if you're but living you can't together... have sex in this country outside, it's f freezing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? If you get your out, it looks like you've got three bollocks. <laughs> uh, but, do you know what I mean? Nobody wants to be making love holding an umbrella. <laughs>